an aggressive play. But I think it kind of makes up for losing the gold, though, right? Ooh, <laughs> this playing the awful ad. Yeah, it's not what he want. Oh, and he evaded it. That's bad luck there. <laughs> Wow. Green dice to the rescue. Mm. Not what he was open for, I guess. So Miranda just got a shield back. Prototype A wings. Look at the little bastards. He keeps rolling great. Wow. Oh no. <laughs> the dice are not being kind of one. Oh. <laughs> the dice don't lie. The dice don't lie. Poor Jake. <laughs> oh man. That's so frustrating. Now he... this will be a difficult loss to take if Moan loses this. I've really felt like not that BMF has played bad, but I think I think Moan has just played pretty brilliantly to be honest. And I just I think BMF's had better dice, to be honest. The thing that's gonna be hard for Jake is even though Corrin's double stressed, he still gets to move after him. And he's got the full range of his dial. I mean, only greens regenerate, but Moan knows he more or less has to get him here because next turn, if, if he greens this turn, greens again, now he can take an action. Now he's going to be real hard to finish yeah. off. You might see BMF get a little cheeky here and do two forward the proto, self bump, one right bank Poe, in essence blocking Jake's pursuit of Corrin just to buy him a turn. And it's also going to keep all your guys out of range of Miranda. What do you guys think for Jake here? Uh, three left turn. Oh, he's stressed. Drat. Yeah. Uh, mm, uh, two left bank. I think two left bank as well. Hoping that Poe K turns. Trolls. Like, Poe could three, you know, two or, two or three right turn and just try and bail here. He really puts himself at risk though if he does K turn. Because Jake can... Poe's got Poe's got all of the opportunity to be as aggressive as he wants to be. Whereas like Corn, you're trying to protect him until he's got that uh, stress cleared. There's the cheeky bum. This player suggested. Oh yeah, his position's great. Why would he move him? Um, I did not see that one coming, but I like it. A two left bank is going to clear now for Jacob. Poe's going to be on his tail. He'll listen until he barrels. He will be on his tail. But if Jake can just get that proc it off, and in essence, yeah, you're still trading Jake for corn, but then it's going to be Poe and Miranda with the proto as well. I think 
could target lock Poe here. Uh, I'd like a target lock on Poe there and see if he's in range. Yeah, so he can barrel away if he wants. See, I kind of like the focus, one left bank, or one left boost, and then target lock Corn, and just hope that he's doing a one forward or a two forward. You're, you might be sacking Jake there. You are going to, you probably are going to get Corn. I imagine though with Poe's move, Corn probably two right banks. Mm-hmm. Oh, because that's green, yeah. Oh, sorry, I was thinking about Corn. What do you think Corn's got dialed in? Probably two right bank. Okay. I think with Jake, you focus, you barrel roll out of Poe's arc, and then you get a new target lock on Corn. Yeah, you gotta get out of arc, or you're. He's gonna boost. Oh. There he goes, and he's gonna he's gonna hope for a one forward, and then he can just do a kill shot. Two left bank. Oh, he's gonna get a shot. He's got him. Yeah, he's probably wishing he target locked, but then he'll need the evade to not not die. So. Okay, this is a big round. Gotta have it here, Jig. No blanks. Oh, risk. Oh, he's just taking it naked. Wow. I think I like this call. He's gotta try to kill Corrin. He needs a good natural roll. Yahtzee. Is that pretty good? Well, is that good enough, Lyle? Is that a good natural roll? Yeah, that'll work. Jesus Christ. Oh. Wow. Amazing. You know, that's, I think that's kind of... And the evade for defense. Yeah, that kind of feels like justice. Oh, yeah. Wow. Now we got a game. Poe's got to do some work. Oh, he's in a world of hurt, though. That's <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> See, Prockets tend to roll better than normal red dice. They just, they always roll pretty well for me, too. Oh, and he's out of range one. Wow. <laughs> and Jake is going to be moving after Poe the rest of the game. I think BMF's only real hope here is to just go all out for Jake, try to kill him, just to get it and get it end game Poe on Miranda. That's a good start. Nice. If he, uh. Okay, Ooh. he's fine. No problem. I get four evades. Spend it. Spend it, move on. And here comes the angry prototype. This guy doesn't need oh. actions. Yeah, look at that. That, that guy just... Oh, wow. <laughs> Again. Wow. That's the second time in a row. BMF is probably getting a little frustrated here. And round nine. I mean, by all rights, that proto shouldn't be there. I don't know how much complaint there can be. True, true. Hmm. So, figure a three left bank for Miranda here. Seems most likely, yeah. And then a hard left two. Actually, Jake's got a choice. He doesn't have to go left. He can go right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He he might have Poe on a two left turn here. 
Uh huh. Which is seems reasonable. That'd be a gutsy move to two right, but yeah, he certainly could. And he can just. The problem is if he does a two right and he turtles up. I think he'll clear the board on the next two right. I mean, what would what would Poe have to do in order to catch a two right? Basically, have to go one forward, right? Yeah, pretty much. And that's so risky to any of yes. Jake's two left moves. So it seems mm -hmm. like, you know, two right seems pretty safe. But does he know that he's thinking about the two? Sometimes that happens, though. I remember. Uh... I don't know if you guys watched Side Slip in Texas Final Four game last year's TC Aces. There was one moment where you know, Dash is hurt, Rack is chasing him, and I think Side Slip thought Rack was going to continue to pursue him when Dash was down to like three or four. So he turned in to block Rack's two right. Instead, Rack went two left to block Corrin, and he ended up with both his ships at range one. And yeah, you get into these guessing games, but yes, that would be an incredibly. But at the same time, I mean, it's really 50-50 if you think about it, because if you two left turn... Because, I mean, if you two left turn... I don't think Poe's going to two left. I think he might one left. Because if you two left, if Jake two lefts, I think Jake could just, like, barrel roll right. And might get out of his arc? I don't know. But if he one banks, Jake could barrel roll. Could boost and barrel left, right? Yes, certainly. So, yeah. <laughs> That's why so he should just to, so he should just T-roll and go after Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He could. Ooh. Maybe he is. Maybe that leaves me to believe he might. He's like, "God, this is trying to go after Miranda." Mhm. Mm Because if Miranda three banks... Oh, you're oh, right. Jesus. There it is. Yeah. Huh. It's a more certain thing, right? He can at least... At least I'm sure. Yeah. Now Miranda probably like three banks, three banks, and gets out of it. Oh, yeah. Again, Miranda going after Poe gives her kind of all the cards here. Yes. Yeah, I would have gone back as far as possible there to kind of... Ooh, uh, forward. Huh. Oh, he did go right. The right. Yeah. Everyone's reading our mind. They can just take out a target lock. There's no reason to stress. Okay. He is. I guess he. He's pretty sure that the hard right two is going to clear the edge of the board. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. He didn't have to take two actions. He could have just. Well, he needed a barrel target. roll. Yeah. Well, he could have just target locked in one turn. You know? Yeah, that's what yeah, I was saying. I was thinking. That's what I wanted to, but. Okay. He's trying, I think he's trying to translate closer to Poe, so I think it's kind of a smart move. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Predator fails him for the last time. <laughs> okay. And Miranda dodges Poe's shot. I think that... No, no, Proto's clear. So, who do you shoot at here? I think Proto. Yep. Again, avoiding the auto thrusters and make him spend his focus. Yeah. Okay, he spent. He's just gonna roll two evades again. Yeah, that's good enough for roll. <laughs> that's what these two do. They just. All right, he's gonna get a shield back. Yeah, I like that. Hmm. And Miranda comes out. Looking fine. But we're going to see like a hit crit roll from the prototype here. Alright, fine. Hit, hit. 
What's the shield he got? I mean, Miranda's still got Chewy here. She's, um... Yeah, Not still got Chewy and this. still got Slam is the big thing. It's going to be hard for Poe to get Arc on her. I mean, Proto Dang. here is probably going to go for the block, right? <laughs> There's not much else going on. Well, like, what do you what do you anticipate Miranda's doing then? Two left turn? Uh, nah. I mean, Proto could 5k Dom. Yep. Yeah. You still want to go for the block, though. You want to at least be in position for it. Like, mm -hmm. even if you don't get it this turn, you want to get a position for it next turn. Yeah, Ricky knows these things. <laughs> You've probably, like, logged more A-Wing hours than all of us combined. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I, I, like, realistically, though, um, well, at least with the prototype, man, I love, I love prototype A-Wings. But he needs to be able to... I mean, you can catch him from anywhere, but... If you 5k, right, then you're looking at two, three rounds without being able to get a shot with Poe. Because the only way he gets a shot with Poe is if he blocks with that A-wing. Mm -hmm. yeah, otherwise, Miranda slams into him or slams past yeah. him. Any number of things to just kind of go nope. And... So you're thinking a three left turn with the prototype? Or a two left bank? Oh, it depends on where you think. Oh, huh. Ooh. Okay, he's gonna take a shield. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> These rocks are like not normal rocks. These are mines. Okay, Jake is gonna get the procket off. Oh yeah. And Miranda can just. I think she's just gonna slam. Oh, she slams though. She could slam into Jake's way. So she she doesn't want to do that. She wants him to procket. Jake spent the procket. Oh, he did. Yeah, he dropped five. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, how could I forget it? It's a range one attack. I mean, call me crazy. I would focus and then do the procket, and then you're done. Well, the procket's gone, but... Um, it's still range one. Yeah, that's right. So Jake can... Both Jake and Miranda will get a range one shot on Poe. That's what Miranda... That's what mm. Mulan's trying to figure out. Does he want to... Uh, Play it safe. That is risky though. Taking two range one shots. Yeah. That's seven dice coming at you, and Poe's got modifiers too. Mm -hmm. And she has Chewy, so she has nine hit points. Also, she could. Oh, true. She could just target lock or focus on um, the proto and just eat kill a shield, it. try to kill it. Yeah, I mean, it's got no actions. Certainly. Yep, definitely. And huh. if Jake two right turns, then barrel rolls right. Can focus target lock the proto yeah. probably can kill it before it fires. I, I think I think he's got it in hand, and he, so I think he's playing safe. He's gonna slam yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, he's got to look at his end game here and saying either of these two ships after this proto go, pro, uh, rocket goes off are gonna have a real hard time with Miranda. Well, remember he spent the rocket. Mm, oh, that's right. That's right. How could you forget the five natural dice? That's stone? true. Mm -hmm. It was a high point. Okay, so now he's going to grab the target lock. I think you shoot the proto oh, he here. I think oh. he's done. Uh, I think you're right, Blair, but he chose to go for Poe. Oh, I must be lagging. No, he already had the lock from last round. So oh, he just, oh, he's he just a, focused to barrel roll. Got it. So he's contemplating the target lock on the prototype. Chose to evade. Look at that. He's in turtle mode. Yep. Man, does the prototype even have a shot on him? Why did he? I mean, the odds that Proto went after Jake there were. I mean, it lets him freely spend his focus, I guess. Yeah. I'm not sure the prototype has a shot on him, though. I don't he might not. A... But, like Dom said, I mean, no reason to take any kind of risks here. Okay. And. He... He takes two off Poe. Okay, he does some permanent damage. Well, temporarily permanent. Okay. 
Yeah, so I don't get it. Why did... Why I guess did... maybe maybe he thought Proto was an arc. He must have had a little brain fart or something. Hey, there's another hit crit. Okay, two from Miranda. The only thing with slamming there now, though, is that Miranda's in a bit of a tough spot. Yeah, she, I mean, she's pretty gonna obvious. To... All she can really do is just bank left, really. Yeah. It's I mean, funny. That really, is it? The prototype is dogging her. Yeah. And now but it's, it's gonna be hard for the proto to fit anything in there without bumping. Mm-hmm. A uh, two left bank and a three left bank should clear, right? It's close. Very close. Huh. Yeah. Maybe the two left bank doesn't clear. I've been having a really hard time with the three left bank recently. I've like I've lost my calibration. Do you guys have any tricks? I keep losing the three left bank. Was it? It's two point two five ship lengths. Is that right? I always like to think of it as two and a half, but I'm sure that's right. What do you think Poe's got here? Is he gonna just K turn or talent roll to stay in the fight? Yeah, I think so. I, don't, I think running away just isn't gonna give him a lot of time. Or is he trying to hit? I mean, if he K turns, he's probably gonna have some kind of shot. Jake, maybe. When the choices are troll right or fort or K forward, right? Troll right yeah. for Miranda. Absolutely. K forward or Jake. I would say so, yeah. If you're gonna try to stay in it. Ooh. Bold move. It looks like it might clear. Oh, that makes it wow. That move doesn't happen unless it's on Vassal. <laughs> oh, he's going to run Poe. Wow. That I'm a little surprised at. Yeah, I don't see why you go, you take that risk going for the block if you're just going to run Poe anyway. Because, yeah, Proto, is, Proto has no shot now. I feel like it would have made more sense. Oh, look at that. A, double heart. Mm, Jake is going to eat. Focus boost, and that's it. Three here. Doesn't even need a stress. Oh, it's a smooth running. Wow, Miranda and Jake could really do a number to to Poe here. It's a big roll. <clears throat> okay, it's going to target lock. Nope. That's still. Right, Poe okay. will take one. Free damage, man. Free damage in decent position. I mean, still hoes. There's like nothing he can do to get away from Jake here. Yeah, Jake can just two forward the next turn. Yeah, and then boost up any direction he needs to. Yeah. Even like a three turn boost is still in that threat. Alright, she's thinking of dropping the. She's got to drop the primary on Jake, but she's trying to figure out should she. Yeah, she's going to pick up a shield. And just shoot two at the prototype. What do you guys think of that decision? Well, she can't do any. She, she like me. Otherwise, she was chewy. Um, no. She's got no shields uh, to eat. So. Oh, that's true. Yeah, she's got no shields. Yeah, indeed. Although I rolled the three dice first. <laughs> All right. So Poe's gonna get one back. Yeah, I like that. Hmm. So Miranda got a shield. I don't understand why. I mean, she's fine. I think it's to spend it to kill the proto. Yeah. Because your only other option is to just burn Chewy. Well, I guess you could have just done a normal attack, but 
Because the thing is, Miranda can't regen unless she can fire, so you kind of want to hopefully try to build her up a little bit once she gets back into it with Poe. Because, I mean, yeah, like, Jake has got Poe on the ropes here. Basically just keep kiting him along. Um, Miranda essentially can just buy herself some time just to regen all those shields and then just finish off the proto whenever she feels like it, really. All right. What round is this? We're in round 10. Frodo does not have a really great blocking position at all. Do you guys have an opinion on uh, round limits in Vassal games? Um, I mean, so long as it's agreed upon, I get, I get the desire. Um, my preference would be time limits, and you do, and you do it like uh, over Skype or something. Mm. I say with the Vassal League going, there has to be a limit. I think like Dom playing Morgan for four hours or whatever, whatever the hell that game, like that's ridiculous. Six yeah, <laughs> we can't have that. I, I, there's either got to be a time or a round limit. I feel like, but that's just me. Yeah, it's one of the downsides of Vassal. Is it does take longer? Except I'll tell you. Um, your game versus Paul was probably the fastest vassal game I had ever seen. It was like an hour and a half. Yeah, like, like more or less, it was almost the length of a of a normal game. So th this is interesting. He can, he can. I think you don't go into range one here. You just stay at range two and turtle. Yeah. Yeah, especially as you're. I think you're out of proto. Although, if he does that, the proto's actually hunting Jake, oddly enough. We need... Hmm. Yeah, he's got a turtle up, and that's what he's doing. I, I'm, I'm in favor. I'd like to try um, round, and rather than length, do um, number of rounds. Like, 20 rounds. I mean, how many games have you actually played gone to that level? Fifteen rounds, even. How long does the? Uh, how long do you think twenty rounds? Of, I mean, where are we at right now? It's probably ten, tenth round. I think you said right, a tenth or eleventh round. We're in the tenth round. All right, Jake's doing fine. He did strip one off Poe, and here comes. Potential kill shot on the prototype. It's a big roll, so he's going to start with normal. Yeah, that's pretty good. He needs two evades, and he spent a lock for that. All right, he'll take one off. One down. Here comes the kill shot. I think you spend it. Go for it. Yeah, absolutely. Drop four. Yeah, if the oh. prototypes if the prototypes dead, the game's almost over. I think Chewy Chewy how lets you do this like freely. Mm hmm There we go. Yep, he is gonna unleash four. It's a big roll. Okay, just two hits. Oh uh, there it is. Man, TLT is good. Against three agility ships, it is a lot better than I think than expected. Well, red dice are better than green dice, right? That's what they say. Oh, okay. My wife is giving me uh, the I need to go uh, do something look. Um, so I need to figure out what the hell I forgot to do. By wife, do you mean um, plunder and pillage? Is that what you oh, mean? Wait, yes. Sorry, I have to go plunder and pillage. Yar. Okay, good, good. Just making sure. Right, I'll talk to you guys later. If I can come back on, I'll uh, hit you up. All right, cool. Later, Kelvin. Yep. All right, this should go a lot faster now. We're in round yeah. 11. 
It's in deep trouble. I've actually played this this like Jake Miranda versus one ship endgame, and it is it is just so annoying because the the blocking and like repositioning and Miranda being able to shoot you with her turret and recover it's just, it would I'd be really impressed if BMF can um, call this one back. Yeah, I I just don't see how he does. Juan basically has to make a big mistake. The fact that Jake can reposition so well. If Miranda finds herself an arc, she can always just slam just to get out of it. Uh, it's going to be very, very difficult for BMF to come back, I think. Back to dials, so Poe is gonna have to go up against Miranda. You think that's the free target lock? I think he's considering whether or not to boost here or to barrel roll back to make his turn. He's like, Do I want to K turn next turn or do I want to like stress myself here and then turn? Yep, I don't think I would have gone that way though because he's pretty sure that Poe's going towards Miranda mm -hmm. and I think this gets him a little further the way after he completes his turn so I guess the hope here is that Poe bears down on Miranda gets a big crit Past Chewy, <laughs> yeah, like a like an injured pilot. Or I guess they're playing with the new deck, aren't they? Yep. Well, yeah, this is I think a resignable position, but BMF is gonna make Muon play it. No, I think I think you play this out at least till you lose all your shields on on Poe. Mm -hmm. And your, yeah. Is he still one lucky shot away from being back in this? Yeah, Morgan says this is a good example of using the sixteen round vassal limit. What might be a little sad about that is then, like, I think you could just run away and win this game. So you kind of, you might have an incentive at this point to not engage, whereas Vassal, like, you're going to engage. Mm. If you have, an, if you kind of have an untimed game. Yeah, I mean, there's no point in running away. I mean, you might run away just to get better positioning, but. Well, look at that, Miranda, just, I'm a little surprised, but. And Jake is going. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're giving Poe's shield back, but um, making him troll if he wants a shot. I mean, yeah, he could two turn and boost, but then he really won't wants that focus. So, you guys ready for the current count of uh, Vassal League Season Zero? I'm gonna guess 137. 138, actually. Oh no way! Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. I am stoked. I wish we were starting tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we've been trying to figure out how to structure it so that we can reach an end game for season one. What I'm thinking is like, it's kind of what you and I talked about a while ago, Blair. We'll have kind of a Division 1, Division 2, and Division 3. And they're all like stacked up on top of each other, so it's like a pyramid. This is the, the, the English soccer system. Uh -huh. And then we'll have the fourth level of the pyramid, there'll be three divisions. And then the fifth level of the pyramid, there'll be like eight or nine, or ten. Uh -huh. 
the lower you go in the pyramid, the more regional it gets. So you'll probably see a lot of Midwestern, uh -huh. a lot of East Coast regions. And then the higher up you get, the more international it gets. Very cool. And so the trick is to try to come up with a a three round or a three month kind of 12 to 15 game season zero that can uh, um, allow us to shove, you know, create that, that final construct in season one. Yeah. Uh, Morgan just told me that he thinks this is a stalemate. Uh, Muon might be able to get Poe, but I doubt it. I don't think that BMF can get either unless he stuffs it with Jake. Huh. Well, that that kind of surprises me. Do you guys want to talk to Morgan about it? Does he mean in a in a timed game, or rather in a uh, like a rounded game, or in on time? He means uh, I don't know. We'll find out. He says he's up for it. Okay, incoming. It's a criminal from down below. <laughs> I wonder if I have him in my contact list. Oh, there he is, Morgan. How's it going? Yar. What's up, Morgan? How are you, man? Good, buddy. Um, all right, we're joined by Morgan Reed. Um, Morgan finished number two in the world last year and uh, also won the Australian National Championship and then finished fourth in Aussies this year. Um, a very strong player. So, Morgan, you were just telling me online that uh, you think that do you think that in a in a time game this is a stalemate, or that the the position on the board is a stalemate? Well, I think in an untimed game this is a stalemate. I think in a time game um, clearly it goes to Miranda and and Jake, but um, in an untimed game I just can't see anyone winning. To be honest. Uh huh. So I mean I, I was speaking to you before about um, looking at. Uh, set rounds for Vassal to stop these epic games going. I know, you know last season, if, if Dom was there you know, as well, that took us about six hours to do a Sunti game, um, which I would have lost horribly if had, you know, done a, a round limit. And I think that 16 round limit for Vassal sort of uh, seems about right for a 75 minute time limit in, in real life. Uh, I just noticed, especially with the, the Rebels, a lot of regen uh, of late, there's a lot of stalemates, especially when you have, you know, Jake, his pea shooter, trying to get through, you know, be an R2-D2 or an R5-P9 auto thrust of Poe. It's just, I can't see it happening. Right, or Miranda. Or Miranda, exactly. You know, and, and if, um, let me just get this right. So BMF has got Poe and Muon's got Miranda, is that right? And and Jake, yeah. And Jake. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, if, um, if Muon has Miranda getting shot by Poe like he did before, he just slams away. So it's really Jake trying to chip away at Poe and, and Muon trying to get Miranda safely to get some shots in, but unless she goes face first uh, to negate the auto thrusters, she's probably not doing a lot of damage, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I think if she, I mean, it's unfortunate he actually doesn't have a blocker here. Now, now Poe's kind of moving first helps a little bit, but... Um... I, I do think because he's dependent on R5P9, I, I do think that he's susceptible here to blocking and tackling. Well, and look at that. We're, we're going to get two shots now. Both. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised he didn't slam Miranda out here. No, he. Uh, Muon is starting to feel maybe what Morgan's talking about. He's like, I just got a kill. Um, he's going to get a, another target locked focus, range one shot. And I believe Miranda's at range one, too. Yeah, I, I mean, know. this is. This is a good setup. I mean, he might just make a liar of me and, and drop Poe right here, but um, you know, unless he gets to what, you know, set up one of these every four turns, something oh, yeah. like that. Yeah. Turns, so. And he only gets one through. Oh, look at that. He gets two through. That's. I guess that's the right call with, with Poe. 
Ooh, and it's range too. I've only just logged on. Has it been a, a long game so far? It has been. We're in hour two now. We just started hour two. Wow. Okay. All right, so two, sh two hull on Miranda? Yep. And he's thinking about... Okay, he's going to chewy it. So he's going to end up with... Uh, Four and one, yeah. Oh, so she quite clever. It gives him a... Um, Gives him a shield to spike the damage here too. Yeah. No. He just auto thrust that, right? Yeah. Well, if he doesn't roll all eyes, yeah. I guess he has the eye still on him, so he just stop it. Yep. Here comes one more. I think. Yeah, wow, he's gonna he's gonna boost it. I think I would have recovered a shield there. Uh huh. Well this is gonna be hard to dodge. Yeah, that one's <laughs> that one's through. <laughs> nice. And he did not spend the uh the focus. Now Lyle, you had a, a game similar to this as well, didn't you? With uh was it with Paul? It was with Paul, yeah. Jack versus a red ace. It was yeah, the red ace had R two D two. So now, um, now he's now there's some risk here. I mean, now if Poe K's, Jay can get right up at him and um, possibly finish it off here. And Miranda will have a double tap TLT, kind of depending what. So Poe really can't K, and I think he's kind of susceptible. He's got, uh, if you just got Miranda around a little bit more to get him posed up there at rank one, it could have been very nice for Milwan. Does Miranda have a YT2400 dial? It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, it must be. Is it an old version of Vassal they're using? So I think that was updated with the new module. Yeah, it's a Vassal bug. It's funny. I think that somebody should you, let Muan know. Well, I think uh, Dom, was, are you on five six four or are you on five six two? I'm five six four. You are four. Huh. Yeah, it's been like that for a while. Muan must he must not know about it or something because it's been like that ever since uh, the first time I played a K wing. I was like, "You got the wrong dial, dude." And he's like, "No, I don't." <laughs> yeah, I think it's just the labels wrong. The dial itself is correct. They wish they had a YT twenty four hundred dial. Yeah, I think we're paying Muon entirely too much for this. <laughs> Filing a bug report as we speak. Mm -hmm. um, so, Morgan, don't feel like you uh, are, have to hang out with us here. We, I was just curious in your input there, but uh, by all means, feel free to uh, to hang if, you're, if you've got the free time. Okay, oh, sure. Just I don't know when I've overstayed my welcome, mate. I'm, uh, <laughs> huh? I'm curious to see, see how this plays out for a bit, then I'll, I'll leave you in a couple of minutes. Cool. I think this might be it right here. Oh yeah, you think this is? So I think, Jake... I think this is the pivotal turn. Miranda's got the Jake barrel rolls over and boosts. Uh -huh. and he's got a range one and a and a Miranda double TLT, and I think he can do it. Yep. Good chance. Oh, oh he goes the other way. Why? Why? To defend him, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I think I might have tried to trade Jake there. Yeah. It's risky, though. Really risky. That's a good roll. There's a range two as well. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, it gets through. That's a bummer. He's going to take a crit. Wow. Is that not obstructed? Oh, he did roll the extra die. Okay, good. So what is the crit? Loose stabilizer. That's like uh, straight, uh, straight, straight maneuvers are stressful? What is this crit? Uh, yeah, after you execute a white maneuver, save a stress token, you can flip it down with an action. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's no problem. He's alive. And this might be it. Okay. Right, it's got the double TLT. But she's got no shield, unfortunately. So. 
this is this is good. This is a pretty classic matchup here. Poe doesn't have his ability. Okay, he needs two evades. I think he spend it. No, he's going for the kill. Wow. Oh, we got him now. Well, he's got nothing to spend. He's the target. He's got the target. target. Oh, he's got the lock. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant the shield. Yeah. Definitely gonna spend it here. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. We're down to one. Poe needs. Oh. Oh, this is big. If it's he real. gets a hit, oh, oh it's, it's over. That's it. Got him. Wow. Wow. So I'm glad I could jump on and say it's a stalemate. I can't see anyone losing. <laughs> <laughs> he dies. Uh, we appreciate your expert analysis, Morgan, as always. <laughs> yeah, well, that was, uh, I have to say, like I, I said this earlier, I don't feel like BMF played bad. I felt like Moan played. That was one of the best played games I've seen in a very long time. I, I thought he was awesome. Alright, hey, I'll, I'll let you guys uh, discuss it and I'll get out of your hair. Uh, thanks for having me on and, and I'll speak to you guys soon. Alright, nice Morgan. You, Morgan. Cheers, man. See you guys. Alright, so, Muon in control. Mm -hmm. In control and moving on, beats the Galactic Cup champion. What an impressive win. Yeah, well, you know, Muon is my pick to make it all the way to the finals, so. Oh, there you go. I've got him losing to Sable in the last round. Uh. Cool. Okay, guys. Um, I am actually gonna. We're not gonna interview the players tonight because I have some stuff to do before I go to bed. Um. So, Dom and Blair, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, this has been a uh, Scum and Villainy podcast video series presentation of the Team Covenant Aces Relegation League tournament.